Hello. I wanted to make a video about how the word corruption has been weaponized by various interested parties. Uh, but I'm setting that on one side for the time being to talk about an issue that arose with one of uh, the subscribers to this channel. I'll call her Susan. You see, in a previous video, I made a casual and passing reference to the USA being corrupt. What I should have made more clear was that I was talking about political corruption. However, uh, political corruption is always a precursor to more corruption lower down. So it is something to be worried about. And uh, Susan was obviously very offended by that comment. So I have sympathy with her anger, uh, but all I can say is that's what it looks like to me. And uh, I'm looking at this from the outside and a very distant view. As we all know, things look different from a distance, as Nancy Griff Griffith uh, used to sing. I'm very ready to concede that witnesses can get things wrong, even from close up. By the way, I'm also ready to concede that it's quite easy to misinterpret perfectly innocent things if you don't know what you're looking at. Take the example of how this poor fellow here caused a stir at Indiana University, who, according to some eyewitnesses, this was a KKK member walking around campus with a whip. And it's a good example of how a combination of ignorance and preconceptions can result in a complete misconstruction of events. Uh, and that could be me, you see. So all I can tell you, though, is what I can see. So I see that during the Obama administration, the Internal Revenue Service was apparently being used as a means of making life difficult for political opponents and whistleblowers. Uh, I see that political opponents of the Clintons seem to have a very high mortality rate. I see that the FBI were apparently colluding in slanderous accusations of Donald Trump during his election campaign, and that one of their top people emailed a colleague that Trump would never become president. I see that when the son of the present president turned in a laptop full of compromising information, the FBI, again, appear to have been doing what they could to suppress it and went so far as to hound and victimise and I think drive out of business the honest citizen who reported the laptop to them. I see that this same son, when he was the son of the vice president, apparently uh, with the knowledge of the vice president, was on the board of a company in whose business he had absolutely no experience in a country which was famous for its own brand of corruption, both political and general. That's what I see. And then, of course, I want to know if anyone watching this video really believes that Joe Biden was carried into office with over 80 million votes. Uh, by the way, if you do, please email me. The link is in the description. I have a proposition for you. Uh, it's to do with a bridge. Anyway, that's what I can see from here. The perfectly reasonable argument that there are many countries so much more corrupt and treating and uh, so much more corrupt and also that treat their citizens so much worse than the USA does not cancel out the points I have just made. Yes, of course, there are far more countries, far more corrupt. But to my mind, uh, exonerating the problems that seem to be overtaking the USA uh, runs along the same lines as, um, well, this is going to be a rather old-fashioned um, uh, example, but I'm sure you'll get what I mean. It's like uh, a woman who is pregnant out of wedlock 
saying that she's only three months pregnant, while four of her friends are so much worse because they're eight months pregnant out of wedlock. And that's how it is with political corruption. You can always find someone further down the road, but that doesn't make your own situation any the less of a slippery slope. Also, from my observation, it appears to be mainly the Democrats indulging in this sort of behaviour. And so there'll be people watching this who'll comfort themselves with the thought that they don't support it. Uh, they've never voted Democrat or they've gone off voting Democrat and they're very angry with them and, and uh, all power to your elbow. However, the Democrats, for good or ill, are half of your political process. I can't suggest a way out of this. But I can point it out to you. So perhaps you can think of a way out of it. Anyway, Susan was quite hard hit by my comment, and I suspect that was because the USA, of which she is justifiably proud, is her environment. And it's difficult to see an environment when you're actually in that environment. That's such a well-established fact that we have an expression for it, don't we? Not being able to see the forest for the trees. It's only when you're at a distance that you can see the forest. And perhaps I have supplied that distance. And so I don't apologise. As I say, I may be wrong, but I don't think I am. And that's what worries me, of course. Right. I am Granny Opterix. I am to be found on YouTube, Rumble, Bitchute and Minds. I am on Twitter, Gab and Parlour as at Granny Opterix. And if you subscribe to me on one of those, you'll always get notification of a video up like, upload. Please like this video, share it, uh, subscribe and check your subscription is still going and um, contribute to the channel if you can. Um, until next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opterix design or Grambo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.